Ever wonder why you don't see many drones flying around in the winter? Icing is a huge problem, but scientists might have just cracked the code to keep them in the air, even in freezing temperatures. Here's more. In winters, drone flight days are limited due to cold temperatures. Fog, rain or snow can coat drones with ice, causing malfunctions and crashes. Only the largest, long-range models have enough power for anti-icing systems, like those used by aircraft. Traditional methods to prevent aircraft wings or propellers from freezing over are too power-intensive for smaller battery-driven drones. Scientists in Finland are trying to solve this problem. Ubik Aerospace, a Norwegian startup, is trialing new solutions to prevent the wings and rotor blades of drones icing up in freezing conditions. It's important for drones to not ice up because icing on a drone reduces the performance. Um, it can reduce the endurance, um, but it can also lead to crashes if the performance degradation is too severe. Uh, so that's what we try to limit with our system, limit the performance degradation and a drone can fly in icing conditions. For the team of engineers, keeping smaller drones with limited battery power, frost-free without using much energy was the main challenge. It's important to have an optimal system for the drone, uh, especially regarding using as little energy as possible, because these drones typically don't have a lot of energy to spare. Um, so every watt we take from the system will probably reduce the flight time of the drone. So every watt we can save with our system is kind of a win for us and also for the drone operator uh, at the end of the day. One of the approaches undertaken by the team is to add a mesh of carbon fiber composite, which can be switched on to conduct just enough heat to the wing to melt any ice forming. What we just did here with this uh, run was we uh, allowed four minutes of ice accretion, then we started heating all zones of the wing, uh, and we then saw that the ice was removed after a short heating time. Ubik's work exemplifies a growing trend among commercial drone makers seeking NATO military contracts, developing drones resilient enough for extreme conditions and optimized for energy efficiency.